Hello students, myself Sonal Lad, Assistant Professor, KITS College of Engineering, Kolhapur. I welcome you all to the course Linear Integrated Circuits. Let us start with the Unit 1 in Differential Amplifiers and Lesson 2, Dual Input Balanced Output Differential Amplifier. In the first lesson, we have gone through the basics of Differential Amplifier, how it can be constructed and what are the different configurations of the Differential Amplifier. So, we will study the first differential amplifier that is the dual input balanced output differential amplifier which is the first stage of the operational amplifier. In this we are going to study about its DC analysis and AC analysis. Now what is DC analysis? A DC analysis is nothing but study and analysis of the circuit's behavior under direct current conditions that is DC conditions. Now why it is important? It helps us to understand the biasing of the transistor and ensures the proper operation in the desired operating region. As we have already studied in the last session that in order to use the transistor as an amplifier it has to be operated in the active region. I would like to ask you one question here. What is Q point of the transistor amplifier? You can pause this video and come back with the answers. Welcome back students. I had asked you a question that what is Q point of the transistor amplifier? The Q point of the transistor amplifier is also called as the biasing point of the transistor. Now, this Q point is determined in order to ensure that the transistor operates in its active region. Because we are using the transistor as an amplifier and we know that the transistor has to be operated in the active region, then this Q point gives us the idea about where the exactly transistor operates. The Q point is determined with the help of collector to emitter voltage that is called as VCE and collector current IC. So, these two points that is VCE and IC are collectively called as the Q point which ensures the stable operating of the transistor as an amplifier. So now let us start with the DC analysis of this dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Now we have already constructed a differential amplifier with the help of two emitter biased circuits. Now in order to perform the DC analysis, we need to do certain changes in that configuration. Now in DC analysis, our aim is to determine the operating point of the transistor that is VCE and IC. Okay. Now, let us start with the DC analysis. Now, as I told you, there are certain changes that have to be done in the basic configuration of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Now, what is that change that we have to do? First of all, we need to reduce the input voltages to the zero. So, this is the thing that we have to do while performing the DC analysis of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Okay. So, now we will redraw the circuit.
ओके सो दिस इज वॉट इज अ ड्यूएल इनपुट बैलेंस्ड आउटपुट डिफरेंशियल एम्प्लीफायर हियर द आउटपुट विल बी मेजर्ड एक्रॉस द टू कलेक्टर टर्मिनल्स ऑफ दीज टू ट्रांजिस्टर्स पी नॉट एंड द इनपुट हैज बीन अप्लाइड टू द बोथ ऑफ द बेस टर्मिनल्स ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टर्स क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू हेन्स इट इज अ ड्यूएल इनपुट बैलेंस्ड आउटपुट डिफरेंशियल एम्प्लीफायर now in order to, to perform the dc analysis that is in order to calculate the collector current and emit collector to emitter voltage what we are supposed to do we have to reduce the input voltages to zero so this is the thing that we have to do for this circuit now we'll draw the circuit with this so let us call the collector uh, the current that is flowing through the base terminal of q1 is ib1 whereas the current flowing through the base terminal of q2 is ib2 so r in 1 and r in 2 are nothing but the source resistances here the source voltage is have been reduced to zero v in 1 equals to zero and v in 2 also equal to zero okay now here we have to calculate what vce and icq that is the q points vcq and icq now in order to calculate this icq first of all what we will do will apply kirchhoff's voltage law at the base emitter loop of this q1 okay so applying kirchhoff voltage equations since we have taken the matched pair of transistors we don't have to do another analysis for q2 whatever the analysis will do for q1 it will remain same for the q2 okay now here we'll use the sign convention from positive to negative as a negative one so here if we start from this the voltage drop across this r1 r in 1 will be equal to ib1 into r in 1 so it is minus of r in 1 into ib1 minus the voltage that has been developed across the bc meter terminal that is vbe minus the drop across this re that is 2ie into re minus Minus of VEE is equal to 
zero. So this is the Kirchhoff voltage equation that we have applied at the base emitter terminal of Q1. Okay. So now we'll solve this equation further. So this will be R in one into I B one minus two I E into R E minus V B E plus V E E is equal to zero. Okay, so we'll rewrite this equation. So this is R in one into I B one plus two I E into R E is equal to V E E minus V B E. Now we know that I B is equal to I E one upon beta D C. Okay, since I E is nearly equal to I C, so this equation becomes R in one upon beta D C into I E one, or simply I E plus two I E into R E is equal to V E E minus V B E. Okay. Now, what we want is I E. Therefore, I E is equal to V E E minus V B E divided by R in one upon beta d c plus 2 r e now since since the value of r in 1 by beta d c is much much smaller as compared to 2 r e we will neglect this term we should Neglect R in one by beta d c. Therefore, the equation becomes I e is equal to V e e minus V b e divided by two R e. So this gives you the operating point I e, which is nothing but Equals to the collector current IC. So if you see that the emitter current is in independent of the RC, that is collector resistor, and it is set up by the VE negative source voltage and RE. The IE is set up by whom? VE and RE, and it is independent of collector resistors RC. Now we have to determine VCE. Now, in order to determine V C E, V C is nothing but V C minus V E. That is voltage available at the collector terminal minus voltage available at the emitter terminal. So, if you look at the configuration of this dual balance, dual input balanced output differential amplifier, the voltage V C is equal to V C C minus I C R C, and emitter voltage is equal to the Minus of V B E. Now, why I have taken this as minus V uh, minus of V B because V B is equal to V B minus V E. Here, the base volt base voltage is zero. 
therefore v is equal to minus of v b e. So, that is why here v is equal to minus of v b e. Okay. Now, this is v c c plus v b e minus i c r c. So, this will give you the value of v c e. So, in this way we can take get the operating point v c q and i c q for the transistor. As we have discussed the operating point helps us to ensure the transistor operates in the active region. So, this completes the DC analysis of dual input balanced output differential amplifier. In the next session, we will discuss about the AC analysis of dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Thank you.